So I think the first time we met was uh, on the stage 2006 Sports Personality of the Year when you won the Young Sports Personality of the Year. And here we are, what, 12 years later. 12. Where did the time go? Do you know, a lot of people said that in your football career, it will just go by like that. Yeah. And they weren't wrong, honestly. When I moved north, packing everything up for the house, and that comes out. A little bit of rust on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were thrown into top flight international football at a very early age, youngest player ever to play for England. Do you think that had negative effects as well on your development as a footballer and as a person? I've always had time for people, but at such a young age, how to deal with that? Not just me, I, I, I felt I could deal with that, but it's like my partner's getting followed by mm. paparazzi when she's just wanting to go to uni and to do her work and come back, you've got people following around. That's a end. difficult thing for, to deal with as an adult, as a, yeah, yeah. alone as a child. Exactly, but it's just part and parcel of the, of the game mm. really, and I just sort of he tried to ignore it. You were very young when you moved to Arsenal. Tell us how you dealt with it. Test my memory now. Um, <laughs> uh, that dressing room I walked into that first day, I was just starstruck. Starstruck, yeah. you know, yeah. walking to Thierry, Robert, and just thought, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> what, like just... It's quite intimidating, though, for, for a young man. Football's a good way of distraction of, you know, you know, go back to what you know best, is playing football. So, yeah, I'm going to be quiet. Like you, I'm going to be quiet in the dressing room and just keep myself to myself, not really knowing the players. And I'll come up my shell more when I'm playing football. That's what, I, that's what I believed I would do. How do you feel about Arsene Wenger? What did he do for your career? Yeah, well, he's a father figure, without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, he gave me that opportunity from such a young age and he took the pressure away from me quite a lot when it was right to. And, and at times he would put it on himself when there's no need to do that as well. He was just that sort of person. I had a lot of time for him, without a doubt. And... I'm pleased and what I contribute to his, his career as a manager. Um, and, you know, for me, I still think he'll be a manager somewhere. I don't know, really know where yeah, yeah. yet, but I still think he's got unfinished business he wants to do. I think mm. he's that sort of man. still think there's like a missing chapter there for him. Do you ever race, Thierry Henry? No. You didn't? I never raced oh, come him. on. No, I know. I know. <laughs> I never raced him. Um, we used to do speed tests, yeah. but I don't sort of believe in the speed tests. I want to race against someone yeah. and just see who's quickest. You can do it between the speed gates or whatever, but I always feel if you're racing against someone, you want to beat them. Mm. If you're on your own, it's... Well, that's think, why I've got so much what do you admiration think? What, for you, sprinters. You'd have led after, what, 30 metres? I would have led after... Do you think you'd have come back at you, or...? Yeah, I'll beat him. I'll beat him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you, you know what? I, I, well, I, I did you actually beat his, I beat his time, but... I mean, when you're against someone, it's, it's a different ball game, really, because, I mean, similar sort of thing, me and Hector, when he beat my time, which we beat... Thierry's previously, and I think now he's been beaten as well, I heard. So, I mean, the game's getting quicker, everyone's getting quicker. I don't mean I'm slowing down. I don't think I'm slowing down either. How has it been in a World Cup squad at, at that kind of age? I had my own camera. Like, I think there's footage of me and my own camcorder. And I've actually watched back the footage I've actually filmed. Honestly, it just shows how young I actually was and how mm. inexperienced I was and how out of place I was. Mm. But... You know, I get a sense when I'm watching that, like, oh, it's a kid here in, the, in a man's game at the time. It mm. really was. But I, I really do think it's helped me to be the person I am. I really do. What's remarkable is you never went to another World Cup. No. Is, is that one thing perhaps you look back on? Yeah. With, yeah. Yeah, all that, yeah. It must be. I mean, yeah, well, I, one I mean, injury and then left out by yeah, that, Capella. Yeah, that, obviously I played all yeah. the qualifiers and then got left out of the squad. How hard was that to deal with? Yeah, I, I mean, I was on the golf course at the time. I was actually playing quite well, and they got the phone call. <laughs> it's soft in the way when you're playing well. Something to distract Something you. Something happens. I had some good people around me, they could tell Who called straight you away. On the golf course? Uh, Fabio. He did he? Yeah. What did he say? Uh, it was very short and sharp. What yes. did he say? You're out, or you're not going to make it? or Basically that. Were you angry? Yeah. Because you don't of course. seem the No, you, no I, mean, I know. You what look at your people say, oh, Theo, what, what a mm. lovely guy. Mm. You're too nice, do you think, sometimes? Is that no. a weakness? Or? No. I don't think it's a weakness. It can't be a weakness for not me. Not at all. Like I say, you know, I feel like you can flip on and off a pitch. Yeah. I'm not going to be horrible to people if there's no need to be horrible to, but I will be horrible to people if they're going to be So were you horrible, horrible to, to Fabio after that? I didn't get a chance to be. I really didn't. Mm. Didn't give me a chance. Didn't give me the opportunity to. Do you still harbour ambitions to get back into the England squad under Gareth Southgate? No, of course. I mean, he's, he's very much targeted. He has any younger players. Mm. I'm still relatively young. <laughs> 29. No, all, all I'm doing, to be honest, is working as hard as I can for Everton. That's all I can do. Yeah. All I can do, like I said before, is control what I do and then everything else can fall into place. Do you think you've realised your full potential as a footballer? Do you know what? I'm, I'm not going to lie. At times... I look back at some of the games I've played, a lot of them, and the goals I've scored. And at times you, you sort of, you've probably seen it yourself, you're like, whoa, have I actually done that? Like, mm. You don't realise actually how good you are at times. It's just having that belief even more so that, do you know what, you are 
very good. You can't just score over 100 goals for Arsenal and not be a good player. Hmm. Do you ever feel like, I want to justify myself, I justify my career, I shouldn't have these critics telling me I'm, I'm not as good as I should have been? Do you know what, like, I, I respect that. Does it not irritate that, well, sometimes? To be fair, I, I just, if people got their opinions, it's the whole, it's why we love the game, everyone has their own opinions on players, if they hate a Marmite or whatever, mm. but I'm doing it for myself, mm. really, and I'm doing all these achievements for myself and I'm proud of what I've achieved. I don't need to prove it to anyone else. All I've got to do is prove it to myself. What do you think is your best position? Um, <laughs> Come on, you've been playing for yeah. donkey's years. You should know no, by now. Yeah, I know. The thing is, I can play in any of the positions. Yeah. That's the thing. It's Versatile. the best position. Where and do you I've enjoy always, playing best? I enjoy... <laughs> I, I, I generally enjoy, I, I do play, I enjoy playing on the right. I'm like mumbling it, yeah. so I don't know what I was going to say. No, I enjoy playing on the right. Yeah, right or up front, I'd say. There was always a debate, wasn't there? Can mm. Theo Walcott play up front yeah. as a lone striker? No, I, I believe I can play up front mm. and play on the right. Right and up front, I really do. Yeah. Does it ever irk you at all? You know, occasionally in your career, pundits, critics have said, I'm not sure he's got football intelligence. They're handsome, haven't they? Haven't they? <laughs> Chris Waddle said it once. What do you say to them? Yeah, you know, I can't be in the game and, and do what I've done and not mm. be intelligent, to be fair. But I don't need to justify mm. it. I really don't. I know what I'm good at. I know what to do on and off the field. And I know how to live my life, really. It doesn't really bother me. It really doesn't. Was it hard to leave Arsenal? To be in there for so long? Yeah, it was hard. I had quite a few meetings with, with the boss. And some things that you expect a player to say to a player, you know, being in the game, you'd know that I, I'm not going to share it, but... Oh yeah, he was, on. No, I can't. Maybe one day. Maybe, maybe <laughs> when the camera's on. <laughs> no, but we just sat down and we spoke man to man, respectfully to each other. And Was it along the lines it, of Arsenal saying, well, maybe, maybe actually it'd be good for you to go somewhere fresh. You've been here, you've had you know, a few injuries. To be fair, it was more come from me. It was from, you, from you? Me. Yeah, yeah, it was time. You were just getting a bit frustrated. Fresh challenge, maybe? Yeah, no, I felt like, you know, I missed quite a lot of the season. I, I wasn't playing as much and I wanted to mm. play and... If I play, I'd be in and out, and I just didn't feel like it was right for me. And just felt I just wanted something different, a new challenge, something, you know, just mm. something completely new. Happy with your game? Yeah, no, I'm happy with the game, definitely. I'm happy with particularly the start of the season and, you know, last few games, I've been in the opportunities and not really taking them. That's been the one sort of thing I'll be hard myself about, but mm. that's nothing to worry about because I know I always will mm. create chances. What are your targets now in, in your career? I haven't really thought that far ahead. I just thought of what I want to do this season. And I know how many goals I want to get. I want to how many you know, the, stand, you want to the standard sort of. How many goals do you want to get? Oh, you want to know, do you? Well, you? You just said, I know how many goals you want to get. I want to get in between 15 and 20 goals. Mm -hmm. As a team, I feel like I, I, I do generally want to get in the top six. I really mm -hmm. do think we can. I really do. What's been the highlight of your career? Well, like For any <laughs> young English player, FA Cup, people will say the FA Cup's yeah. not special. For me, it's special. For me, it's special. And to come back from the knee injury and to score in the final, mm -hmm. And you can sense the emotion I had that particular game. You could see it. For me, that's one of the biggest things, without a doubt. Biggest disappointment? The World Cup miss, the 2010 one, yeah. when I was on the golf course. You're nearly 30. <laughs> Comes a stage where you have to start thinking post-football. Have you got thoughts? We can chat afterwards, no problem, me and you. <laughs> well, you want my job? <laughs> not ready yet. No, I mean, not I've got two or three I've years I've still left. got a good six, seven... Years in me still, don't worry about that. I think you probably have. No, I'm looking after myself very well. My yeah. kids are keeping me fit and young. But any thoughts post-career TV? Yeah, or no, kind I... Of you're an articulate young man or, or, you know, you can go into the mad world of management and coaching. That's one thing I probably won't do, actually. No. I've got nothing against or anything like that. I just feel like it's not for me. I felt exactly the same way. I like working with children. I'd like to probably mm. teach young children as striker coach or something yeah. like that side of it. And maybe TV work. I think mm -hmm. that's something that I would like to get into a lot more. We will speak after. <laughs> I'm sure you'd be very good at it. Uh, Theo, I wish you all the very best Thank with you. whatever you decide to do, but you've got loads of football in your life. Exactly. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you. you.